Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics and form, working on the revision that is uh, the Thevenin's uh, theorem, that is uh, the one that you're going to be focusing on our revisions uh that we started so uh we've got question paper november 2019 that we're going to have as um as you can see here we are given to study the circuit diagram below that is our circuit diagram um all right six marks for that okay no calculation so here we're given to calculate the current flowing through across the two ohm resistor uh using the venin's uh theorem which is uh very, very important to note the method or the theorem that you're supposed to apply. Do not just say, um, ask to calculate the current across this result. I'm going to use another method. No, use the method that you're given them. All right. Anyways, this is where we have uh, got our two ohm resistor. So all these theorems, what you need to know are the stages or the steps that you're supposed to follow whenever you are calculating the current flowing in any branch so what you're supposed to do for, uh, under the thevenin the first thing that you're supposed to is to remove the load resistor of which the load resistor is the two ohm resistor in this case so you're supposed to remove uh the load resistor like i said our load resistor which is the two ohm resistor but now if you are to check here if you are to check from our diagram all right, so this is resistor. If you are to check from our diagram here, the two ohm resistor, which is the one that you are referring as our load resistor, which is the two ohm resistor, it's in series with the six ohm resistor. These two, they are in series. We know that in series, the current that flows there is the same. So the current that is at this branch is the same as the current that is going to flow across also the two ohm resistor. So the moment we remove the two ohm, we are removing also the six ohm at the same time. Yes, you can leave it, but it is best for you to remove that at the same time. So here we are considering uh, the two ohm resistor and the six ohm resistor at the same time. When we are removing this, what is it that we are supposed to do? We are supposed to calculate ethev or vdev. So it can be ethev, it can be vdev. That is the thevenin's voltage that you are going to find across the branch AB. So meaning to say, guys, we are going to have something of this nature if we remove uh, this uh, part. So, and also it is just going to be an open circuit here. So we are going to remain with something like this. I know that we can just have our formulas direct, but let me just do this so that all of us, we understand. So we are going to have our resistor, right? Uh, this part, I'm going to explain it later on what is happening here. All right, then um, the 5 ohm resistor is going to remain as it is. The 3 ohm resistor is also going to remain as it is. All right, so guys, you just draw a nicer diagram. But now let's consider if we remove this, it's now open. So this will be open like this and also open because we removed these two at the same time. So on these branches, on these open uh, parts, we can just name A, B. So that is what we have. Our R5 uh, does not change here, which is three ohm. Our R2 is not changing, which is the five ohm. Our R3 is not also changing, which is the nine ohm and also the 32 volts. So remember what I was saying, by removing the load, what we need is to calculate VTEV, which is the Thevenin's voltage. So how are we going to find this? This is the voltage that we are going to find looking into the branches A, B like this, the voltage across this part. All right. If you are to consider this, guys, let, let, let's, let's see our diagram properly. Study our, your diagram. If you check properly here, the 32 volts that we have at this point, since we do not have any resistor that we are given in this from this point, from this point here up to this point, if we get this direction, we do not have any resistor there. So it simply means the voltage of 32 volts is the one that we are going to find across this point, which is at nine, just across, we are going to have this voltage as 32 volts. Since the nine volts, uh, the nine ohm is actually parallel to nothing because is here, we do not have any resistance. So the 32 volts is going to appear direct at this point. So if it is the 32 volts appearing at this point, then we can simply calculate VTEV 
which is simply the voltage that we see across AB, which is the voltage that we can find since, uh, if we check, uh, I want you to see properly here, as the current flows, as the current flows at this point, we are going to have our current branching like this. So it means that this resistor, the R5 and the R2, they are in parallel, these two, because they are not having the same current. They are going to be parallel. So if they are parallel using the voltage divider rule, uh, voltage divider rule, we can calculate VTF. It is going to be the resistor five, this one. So it is going to be R5 over the sum of R5 and R2. That is what you're going to have times the voltage source that we had, which is our V1, according to this, it was written as V1. So that is how you are going to calculate VTEV in this case. The 9 ohm, forget about it because already our voltage is across it. So it's not considered this part. Okay. So meaning to say our VTEV is going to be R5, which is 3. So that will be 3 over the sum, 3 plus R2, which is 5 times the supply voltage, which is 32 volts, okay? This is same as over one, okay? Just use your calculator direct. We are going to obtain uh, 12 volts. All right, so this is our VTEV. Remember, if you are using the Thevenin's theorem, we, we have to end up with the equivalent circuit diagram. But what we need on the equivalent circuit diagram, we also need RTEV. So what are, we, what are you going to do? We go back to our diagram here. Let's refer back to our diagram. This time, we are going to remove the source. We have got the voltage source here. We are going to remove this, and we are going to replace it as a short circuit in this part. This one is going to be a short circuit. If it was a current, we are going to open that as a, we are going to replace an open circuit. But this is a voltage, so we are going to short this. Okay, so we remove the voltage. So this is going to be... Uh, the other part. So this is what you're going to have. Uh, let's just say two. We are going to remove uh, the voltage source. All right. By removing the voltage source that you are going to, we are going to remain with what? So there we are going to remain with a short circuit. All right. So that is going to be a short circuit. Remember, a short circuit is just continuous like that. Okay. So by doing this, we are going to calculate uh, are there at that moment. So when we are doing this, we are going to calculate our thev. All right, so that is uh, the thevenin's resistance. All right, so let's see what is going to look like if we remove this. Take note, guys, we said we are going to remove this voltage source, all right? So this is just going to be a straight part. That's a, a short circuit like this, straight, okay? So we're going to have this, and the nine ohm resistor is going to remain as it is so our diagram. We are going to have it. Uh, let me just sketch so that we understand. So remember, I said we are going to have a short circuit. Then if you saw, we had got uh, a nine ohm resistor, which was part of our resistance in this case. All right, let's check what we have after the nine ohm. After the nine ohm, we've got the five ohm followed with the three ohm. All right, so we've got the five ohm and the three ohm in this case. So here, that was our five ohm and our three ohm like this, all right? So remember that before A and B, they are not considered. A and B, they are already, con it's, it's, it's already uh, are open on A and B. Actually, uh, for, no, for me not to confuse you, you're supposed to focus on this diagram. Already you see A and B, they are not there. So don't consider these resistors and B, just this part. All we just did was to sh short circuit this part, all right? So if now, we can replace our resistances. We said this is nine, five, and uh, three. So we've got nine ohms here. So this is nine ohms, uh, five ohms, and three ohms, okay? This was uh, our presentation where this is R5. And uh, so these ones are not that important, okay? R2, R3, and R5, but it's not that important, all right? Uh, R2, uh, R3, and R5. So this is where our voltage source was at this point. But now we had to remove that uh, actually and remain with, and to remain with a short circuit. That's why we are not having this part, all right? So that means we are going to work with this as a short circuit. Mm -hmm. We need the resistance in this case, the total resistance. That is our arm there. But how is this possible? Okay, let's check what is happening between these two. We are supposed to start from this part here. 
This simply means that here we've got a zero ohm. There's nothing that we have. So if nine ohms is in parallel with the zero, that means the total part of these two is also going to be a zero. Remember from your product over sum, you're going to use product over sum, nine times zero over nine plus zero. That is going to be zero over nine, which is zero ohms. So when you say we are not going to have anything between these two, we are going to just have a zero. Okay, so please be careful about that. These two, there's nothing because we do not have resistance. So it's like a zero there. So meaning to say at this point, we are now, we have combined these two, we obtained a zero, but now it is in a series with the five ohm resistor. So that means we are going to have five plus the zero that we got there. So five plus zero cannot give us a zero. It is going to give us a five. So at the end, we are going to remain with only a five ohm resistor and a three ohm resistor because this part we got uh, zero at the first part and we added to five. So this is now five ohms, this is three ohms. So we can calculate the total resistance because we are just left with two resistors which are in parallel. So in this case, our RATF, uh, as you can see, this is product over sum since they are in parallel. So we are going to use the product over sum concept. All right, so our RATF in this case is going to be the product of these two resistors. That's five times three over the sum five plus three. All right, so that is it from this part. We can calculate our RATF. All right, so with this part, we are going to find something like 1,875 ohms. All right, so this is what we are going to have as our RATF in this case, which is uh, uh, the one that we need on the Thevenin's equivalent circuit diagram. Okay, so with this information that we got here, all that we had before or all these stages, they are not important. What we need now is to have the equivalent circuit diagram. Uh, that is our Thevenin's equivalent uh, circuit diagram. So our equivalent uh, circuit diagram uh, is going to be like this. Remember, we are supposed to have the VTEF on our diagram, we have got VTEF. So this is how your uh, Thevenin circuit diagram is looked like, okay? So there we are going to have VTEF, all right? Then we have got RATEF like this. This part is going to be our RATEF, okay? Then remember that we removed the part of A and B. This is where our A and B that we removed. So we are going to now replace them, all right? So we are going back to those resistors that we removed before. That is our A, B, this one, that was six and two ohms. Remember, it's the current across the two ohm, but when we removed two, we removed also six ohms. So you must consider that. So we are going to replace those resistors on our equivalent circuit diagram. So we are going to have uh, the six ohm and the two ohm in this case like this. All right, so this is what we are going to have. Uh, remember the six ohm that we removed and the two ohm that we removed. This is our RATEV. Uh, we calculated RATEV, guys, here. We got our RATEV, okay, that was RATEV 1,8, uh, this part 1,875 ohms. So that is what you're going to write here, 1,875. So our RATEV is going to be 1,875 ohms. Then this is our VTEV, this one. It's no longer the supply, but it's now VTEV. Those is the equivalent circuit diagram of what? Of Thevenin. And our VTEV was 12 volts. So this is what you're going to have, all right? So here we are going to have our 12 volts at the end. So that is what we have. So the question is to calculate the current flowing the two ohm. As we can see, it's now easier if we just look at this diagram. What is the current flowing through the two ohm reset? This is a series circuit. Where we know that in a series circuit, the current is the same. So the current that is going to flow uh, through the two ohm resistor in this case, we are now answering according to how they asked us. That is the current flowing the two ohm resistor is simply the total current of the circuit. That is what we have. And we know that current is simply voltage over resistance. But here what we have, the voltage that we have is VTEF. So we're going to take the VTEF as it is, which is 12 volts over the resistance, which is the total resistance of the circuit, which is we're going to calculate, we are going to consider in series resistances, we add them. So we are going to add uh, RATF in this case, which is 1,875 
plus uh, the six ohm resistor plus the two ohm resistor because these are in series. So we add them. Okay. So by finding the total current, we are actually finding the current across the two ohm resistor. All right. So this is what you're going to have at the end. Uh, that is going to be, uh, if we add everything properly here, we are going to have 12 divided by uh, 9,875. So this is 9,785. So this gives us the total current, which is the current across the two ohm resistor since it is uh, in series. All right. So this is going to be uh, 1,215. Uh, one eight nine eight and so forth. So this uh, one cannot change five, so it will remain like that. And remember, this is current measured in amps. All right. So this is how we were supposed to have our stages properly. Uh, but as as you go, uh, as you as you revise more questions, uh, some of the steps that we have in the drawing of the diagrams, they are not even necessary to draw the diagrams. It's just important for you to understand each and every part or each and every step that you're working with. All right, so that is uh, how we answer this type of a question. If we are given something of this nature, especially that a voltage source is not having any resistance across it, you simply take that voltage to the next step because this is there's nothing that we have. So we take that to the next step. We see that as our 32 volts there. Simply, we remain with these two across the 32 volts. So that is how we can uh, actually have this. Okay, so more questions to come from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.